Good morning everybody. We've got a really exciting maths video today because we are going to go on a bit of a treasure hunt, a bit of a scavenger hunt to find 3D shapes around our houses. And all you will need is some sort of timer, a stopwatch or a phone to time yourself for 60 seconds to fa try and find as many of these shapes around the house as you can. And you might want to take photos of them as you go or if you're just finding little items you could find them in the 60 seconds and bring them and put them all together and take a photo of them once you've found them. So the shapes that we're looking at today are called 3D shapes. They aren't flat, so that means you can pick them up just like this. They are 3D. So let's start with this shape over here. Can you tell me what shape this is? It's a cube isn't it well done if you knew that and i can see that all of the cubes faces are the same shape what shape are the faces they are square well done let's count how many square faces this cube has one two three four five one underneath six it's got six faces and here are some things called vertices now these are corners or points so let's count how many vertices this cube has one two three four turn it over five six seven eight eight vertices can you say that the cube has eight vertices just like points look and cubes also have a number of edges these are the edges here so let's count how many edges it's got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Okay, so your job now is to set that 60 second timer and to go and find as many cube shaped items as you can in your house. Either take pictures of them where they are or collect them all together. It's up to you. Make sure you've got a grown up with you. Are you ready? Off you go. Well, I hope you managed to do better than me. I only managed to find two cubes in my house. I've got an OXO cube that you use for cooking and a box. How many did you get? I hope you did better than me. The next shape we're going to try and find is this shape. Do you know what this one's called? That's right, it's a cylinder. Now a cylinder has got two faces that are the same shape. What shape are they? Circles, so it's got one two circle faces and one face that goes all the way around. So it's got two circle faces and one that goes all the way around. One more than two is three. It's got one, two, three faces. Now this shape has got an edge going all the way around at the top and an edge going all the way around on the other side. So one edge plus another edge makes two edges. Okay, 60 seconds to try and find as many cylinders in your house as you can. Off you go. How many did you get this time? I did a little bit better. I managed one, two, three. Now this has got a handle on it, but without the handle, I can see two circle faces and a face going all the way around. So I've got one, two, three cylinders. Time for the next scavenger hunt for the next shape, which is, do you know what it is? It's a cuboid. Now, cuboids have got two square faces, one at the top and one here. And it's got one, two, three, four rectangle faces. Hmm, so how many faces does it have all together? Two add four. That's right, it has six faces. Let's count how many vertices it's got. So those are these pointy bits. 
One, two, three, four, turn it over. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight vertices. Can you tell me how many sides a cuboid has got? Well done if you said 12. Great job. Are you ready to find as many cuboids as you can in your house? Off you go. I thought I was going to find loads of cuboids in my house, but I've just managed to find lots of boxes, look. So we've got a cuboid here, two square faces and four rectangular faces. Another box with some toothpaste in and another cuboid here, look, which is another box. Two square faces and four rectangular faces. I wonder how many you got. I hope you did much better than I did. Now here we've got a shape called, do you know what it's called? It's called a cone. It looks a little bit like an ice cream cone, doesn't it? So this shape has got one pointy bit, one vertex. It's got this face here. What shape is this face? A circle face, well done. And it's got this face that goes all the way around. So it's got two faces and one vertex. Are you ready to go and find some 3D cones around your house? I'm wondering if I will be able to find any for this shape. Off we go. Oh dear, I'm very disappointed. I've searched my house from top to bottom and I can't find a cone shape anywhere. Oh, let me know if you managed to find one. Okay, this is our next shape. So, do you know what this one is called? You're right, it's called a square-based pyramid. You might have seen some pictures of the pyramids in Egypt. And this looks just like one of those, but it's got a square on the bottom. So it's called a square-based pyramid. Let's count how many faces it's got. One, two, three, four, five faces. Let's count how many vertices it's got. One, two, three, four, five, five vertices. Let's count how many sides it's got. Edges, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight edges. I will be so impressed if anybody can find a square-based pyramid 3D shape in their house. Off you go. Oh dear. I'm so sad. I really hope that you managed to do better than I did with the square base pyramid, children. Oh, zero points for me. Now there is one more shape that we haven't spoken about and that is called a sphere. And here I've got an orange because I've forgotten the sphere from school. But a sphere is a round shape. And it's a shape that can roll as well. So, you've got 60 seconds to go and find as many spheres as you can, like a football shape, in your house. Okay? Off you go. Now, spheres are very special because they don't have any vertices, they don't have any pointy bits, and they just have one face that goes all the way around. This isn't a very good example of a sphere because it isn't perfectly round. But if you have a football at home, then that is a really, really good example of a sphere. How many sphere shapes did you find then? I've got two here. Make sure you send us lots of pictures of all of the 3D shapes that you've managed to find in your house. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!